Hey everybody, Vash here. I wanted to make a quick video because I'm getting a lot of comments and messages about certain places in the game that people might be getting stuck at. So I'm going to try my best and if I miss some places that you're still stuck at or you don't know where to go next, uh, just, you know, join my Discord or catch me on stream or something. Send me a message and I'll try to help you out as best I can. But uh, alright, I'm going to go through each area that I remember having trouble in and let's see if I can help you guys get through the game. But alright, let's get to it. Okay, up first, we are at a Versum Hill. Um, how do you say it? Versum Hill? Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, we are at the part right here where the train station is at. I know a lot of people have been getting stuck here, uh, not knowing how to get up there, not knowing what to do. Um, it might be pretty obvious for some, but not everybody, but these green arrows over here, if you see them, try jumping in and breaking the glass. You'll see an opening over here that leads to a different area. And as you can see, it leads up. There's some tags on the train itself. There's a tag right there. Um, you can go to this section over here, but it doesn't lead you anywhere. Uh, there's some places in the game that are like that. So just try it out. You know, sometimes it'll lead you somewhere. Sometimes it won't. Um, but there is another place you want to go to. And let's follow this rail and I'll meet you on the other side. All right, we're making it to the other side of the rail. And as you can see, I followed it all the way to the end. And we're going to keep going through the entrance here. And it takes us to a totally different area. Uh, I can go ahead and pull up my map on the on my phone so you can see where this is. There's this long straightaway leading to this room over here. I can also open up the main map so you can kind of see where I'm going. Uh, but yeah, there's a whole area over here that you can explore. There's more tags over here, all that good stuff. So feel free to check it out. And hopefully this helped you figure, you know, the, the last little spots that you need to find for this uh, area. Uh, there is one other thing I want to show you guys here, so let's get back outside this tunnel. Okay, so we're back outside the tunnel, and as you can see, I got placed right here on the side. Uh, there is a graffiti tag that you want to get up here, and this is how I did it for both of these. It's a little- Whoa, train, whoa, what are you doing? You He entered the video! Okay, we're back. <laughs> um, so... This is how I did it in my playthrough, <laughs> but uh, I got up here and I um, jumped from there, I boosted over, and then I made it to this tag right here. So hopefully that helps. That's how I did it. I don't know if there's a better way, but that's how I did it. Uh, so that tag that you see up there, you can also use the rail to get up there, but I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I did when I did my playthrough. It saves time if the circumstances are correct, but you can uh, knock this thing up. And then uh, after you're done tagging it, you can use it to um, to just jump over. See, like you can go ahead and tag it, right? And once you get it done, uh, okay. Hopefully this cutscene doesn't play for you guys. But once you get it done, you can just go ahead and hop over and then tag this that way too. It saves some time. It's a little bit trickier, but I thought I'd throw it in as a little bit of an Easter egg instead of taking that rail all the way back. You know what I mean? All right, so we're still at Versum Hill. I wanted to throw this in there as well because I've seen a lot of people comment about this. The glass on the ground, you need rollerblades to do it, but you want to slide into the glass and it'll break. Uh, there's also glass that's standing upright. It looks kind of like a glass door. You want to boost through that to break it as well. But I wanted to throw that in. I, I put that in a couple other videos, but I'm probably going to keep saying it in, other, in newer videos because it's a question that keeps coming up. Uh, so yeah, hopefully it helps if you were stuck on that as well. All right, so now we're at Millennium Square, and this is a spot that I know a lot of people have been messaging me about, and I actually helped somebody live on my Twitch channel uh, figure it out. So there's a mission where one of the Franks is going to make you go up there, and if you want to be a real G, you got to tag that billboard up there. Um, this is the way that I did it, so I'm going to go ahead and lead you guys there. I won't do any cuts here just to kind of like, you know, keep it cohesive and you guys don't get confused here. But you're going to want to jump down this way, hit the billboard, right? Uh, if you want style points but this is the way i did it i don't know if it's intended but you want to jump onto this little raptor here you're gonna jump up again you're gonna jump up again and then on this one you want to do a double jump to get up there and uh so now that you're up here this helps get you uh to the um the railing over here that leads to that spot so i'm gonna take you all the way over there so we can figure it out together and uh, I really hope this solves your problem if you're looking for that one quest of uh, becoming a real G for the, the guy who's part of the Franks team. Um, 
And yeah, you take this little booster, and there it is. That's the, the tag you're going to want to do. There's not one here anymore, uh, surprisingly. But yeah, there you go. Okay, so we're still on Millennium Square, and I wanted to show you guys this tag up here, because it might be tricky for some people. As you can see, that's the, the middle square area down there, and I made it all the way up here. I'm going to show you how to do this. So we're going to get back down to the square, and you're going to want to go up this ramp here. You don't have to boost if you don't want to, but I just did. And you're gonna see this billboard here, and you can kind of be like, oh, it leads to nothing, but there's one right there. It's a little bit of a tricky maneuver, but the way that I do it is I'll jump and then jump and then press left and jump. Left and jump. Jump, left, jump. Jump, left, jump. I'm just doing that over and over and over, as you can see. And uh, I made it up top, and you can use this to get to that spot over there. And here's a little bit of extra bit of knowledge uh, that I wanna throw your way. Uh, whenever you're making a big jump like this, I always recommend doing a boost jump, double jump, and then if you can't make it, do another boost in the air with your if you have boost meter. Uh, but obviously that helps a lot with getting to this location, and then you can also use that to get to the other location over there if you need to. Uh, I currently don't have boost meter, so I'm going to start doing some crazy tricks to build boost meter for myself. And now I have enough, so I can do it again. So here we go. Huh. That's what I mean right there. Being able to do a boost jump helps a lot with covering ground. And you can make your way over here if it makes it easier on your life to find out uh, how to get to this rail and then tag that thing right there. Stuff like that, you know. Ho hopefully all these things are helping you. Like I said, I don't know exactly what things might be holding people up and what might not. But I'm just trying to tackle things that I remember in my playthrough that might be tricky for some people. Uh, I know I mentioned it back in uh, Versum Hill, but I want to go ahead and show you guys this too while we're here. This is the glass door that I was talking about, and if you want to just boost through, you can. That's how you get through and you get these tags here. But all right, let's keep going. All right, so we're still in Millennium Square. I wanted to show this off because I remember passing it by and being like, okay, that might be something people might miss or have trouble with. But uh, I don't have it on my phone anymore, but in this area on the map, there's a little long uh, room that you can see there and when you try to figure out how to get in there I'll show you how you want to go ahead and hop off your skates and down here there's a little opening very very tricky huh go ahead and slide in and if you um, go up the the wall here there's another tag and you know might as well take a quick snapshot with your boy here all right I got him <laughs> Okay, moving on. All right, so we've made it to Shibuya, ter I'm sorry, a Brink Terminal. And um, you might be saying, Bash, please, please tell me, how do I get up there? Oh, I've been trying all day long. How do I get up there? I need to get up there. I need to go find the Flesh Prince. I need to just get up there. There's a tag up there. Well, I got you. Don't worry. So um, it might be kind of hard to tell, but if we look up, ooh, what's that? Wow, okay, let's go ahead and... Check that out, shall we? So we hop on the rail, hop up here, and where's this taking us? Ooh -hoo -hoo. It's easy as that. It's hard to miss, but it's easy once you see it, obviously. And there you go. You just go ahead and go off the billboard here, and bada boom. We've made it on top. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helps. Uh, that's something that definitely I got stuck on for a bit. So, um, so yeah, I was the one pleading earlier. <laughs> but we've made it. And don't forget down here uh there is another way to to slide in so don't don't miss out on this area too you want to go ahead and slide in through that whenever it's available to you i don't remember if this is locked out early or not or if it's something that opens up later but you guys can go ahead and figure that out i don't want to hold your hand through everything or do i okay so this one is a very fun and very interesting platforming section i love the sections like this throughout the game but i'm gonna go ahead and uh do a rundown of how i go through this area so then if you're getting stuck here this is how i do it and uh i'll probably make a, a solo video of this later because uh this could be a video on its own but i'm just gonna throw it in here too but this is how i go through the the area if you're having trouble scaling this whole thing i'm here to help uh, I'm gonna talk over this little gameplay here. Be aware that you can just touch the wall like that. You don't have to press a button. It'll do it for you. So that helps a lot. Let's make that gap there. You could have uh, jumped to the pole, but I kind of made it harder on myself there. But it's fine. We're gonna jump across. We're gonna go this way. And do a boost jump, like I've been mentioning. I love my boost jumps, right? 
go this way and then go ahead and just land on it. You can also boost it or jump over to it if you want to. Cool, same thing. I didn't press a button for any of that. She did that on her own. These right here, you're gonna wanna wait. It does a handstand on its own, it's very, very useful. Wall ride, you don't have to press anything. And then you jump. We're gonna follow through. I recommend not getting uh, multipliers if you're not feeling comfortable in this area. Just kinda, you know, take it easy. Just go through it at your own pace, whatever you're comfortable with. We've made it here, already some good ground, right? We're gonna continue on. Okay, jumping over. Same thing, handstand. Take your time. Don't rush yourself. There's no time limit. Uh, let's go ahead and jump over again. Going up. Bada boom. Uh, and then now the game plan is we're going to go off of that rail, off the wall, jump onto that railing. There is a secret thing. If So what you want to do is you want to go on that rail in front of us, wall ride. And then when you're on the beginning of that rail over there, you can jump to the right and follow these billboards and that leads you to a secret on up there. I think it's a CD, I'm not sure. I don't remember, but all right, we're gonna do the normal thing. So we're gonna jump, jump again, go around the loop. We're not speeding it up. We're not gonna make it any extra than we need to be. Do a handstand, jump over, get ready to jump onto this rail here, dash over, handstand again. And look at that, we just about made it. Easy peasy. And that's basically this section. All you have to do is just go up. You're in an enclosed area now, so you don't have to worry about falling off anymore. You've made it to the top. Pat yourself on the back. I hope you guys uh, made it there with ease. I hope my guide helped a little bit with that section. But we've got a couple more things I want to show off before I wrap up the video. Uh, so let's move on. Okay, so we're at Millennium Mall, and I've got a couple comments uh, in some of my videos and other places that I've posted about how to get to the top of the mall, how to get to the very, very top. And I'm going to go ahead and show you my method of getting all the way to the top and maybe something that you guys have missed along the way. So let's go ahead and get to it, yeah? yeah. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is just look for anything that helps lead you onward, right? So obviously these escalators are going up, so we're going to keep going up. We're going to go ahead and go around this corner and we're going to go through the, uh, the little shopping uh, mall that we see over here, the little clothing shop. Um, you can break through the glass, obviously. Keep it going through. Uh, now, first hurdle over here is the uh, wall ride. Go ahead and jump on this global wall um, billboard. And now we got to cross over this. So you just want to do a simple jump. Don't do tricks because sometimes your trick will, will keep going at the end of the jump and then it'll not let you jump. So that's a, a little tip there. Tricks don't let you jump whenever you're doing a trick at the end of it. So we're going to want to, uh, you can go explore these areas if you want to, but we can avoid those if you're, want, if you're trying to get to the top of the mall. You don't have to go there. So let's just keep heading on. We're going to go in one big circle over here. And this is something that maybe some people could miss. Um, but this palm tree, you can actually grind up the palm tree and you could go ahead and take this section over here. There is another section that takes a booster. I just like using this one because it leads you to a porta potty and then you can also get up higher from here. Well, I fell. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do that again. Whoop. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna be going up this path and we're gonna ignore those little shopping areas for now. You can go explore them at your own leisure. And we're going to um, ignore that area on the left. You're gonna take this palm tree, make your way up and take this billboard, jump over, dash, jump dash jump and you've made it up here up top so you want to jump over this and that leads you to this little uh staircase over here and there you have it you've made it to the top of the mall section uh this is open to me but you need a lot of rep in this area to open up this palm tree to get up there and as you can see there's actually some tags up in the distance i haven't even done so uh but yeah this is the top of the mall this is probably where you're gonna see um vinyl she's gonna be up here and you're gonna talk to her about progressing some stuff and uh obviously she leads you this way and in case you forgot you don't want to uh be on your skates you want to slide through with the uh the manual button when you're uh by this area leading to the factory but all right cool let's move on Okay, we're here at Matan, and uh, this is the one that stood out to me the most. I know there's other places that might be 
a little troublesome for some people, but I'll let you guys do all that. I don't want to do everything for you, you know? <laughs> Unless you need it, then let me know and I'll make another video. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, this one right here, if you see the little map chip that's flying up in the sky, and if you're having trouble getting up on the bull's head, uh, I know this was a thing that I had an issue with when I played the game uh, casually the first time around. And uh, I still don't know if there's a way to get up this way where you're using the uh, the the ramp here. So, And uh, I know you need to get back up on that thing. So what I do, and I don't know if this is the intended way or um, maybe it's an oversight or something. But you can leave this area from way over here and it leads you back to Millennium Square, right? And then if you return, if you go back the way you came, you can see that it actually puts us back up on the freeway. So now that we're back up on the freeway, say uh, you first got here and you jumped down, you didn't, you ended up not jumping on the bull right away, um, and or you missed it or something. That's the way that I've found to get back. And I actually haven't got that map yet. Yeah, so we're gonna go grab that now and hopefully I can do this on this try so then I don't look dumb There you go, that's how you do it uh, Cool, but uh, all right, we've got one more spot that I want to show off uh, over there at the pyramid island So I'll see you on that side Okay, so here we are at pyramid island and this was the one that got me pretty bad and I ended up cheesing it in a weird way But I'm gonna show you the actual way they want you to get up to the higher uh, level here uh, I was going over these rails over and over, trying to find the right way to get to the top floor, the top area here. I was struggling a good bit, and I ended up getting up there in a way that I wasn't supposed to on my stream, which was pretty funny. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the best way to do it. So you're going to want to go to this rail over here and follow it along. And uh, you see those orange pipes in the distance. You're going to want to go ahead and enter this one right here by the porta potty. It's going to lead you to this rail. You go up the rail and ignore everything else. Don't go up there. Just keep going straight. And uh, once you get to the top of this rail, this will actually take you to the top floor. I, this was hard for me. So if it seems obvious for you guys, then I'm just stupid. But this was what was difficult for me when I was doing my playthrough. I didn't know how to get up here. So I'm hoping that helps you guys. And um, and yeah, just uh, overall, I hope this guide helped you guys figure out certain things. Or if it helped you in a certain section in one of these stages, I hope I could be of, of some kind of service. Uh, like I said, if, you, if there's anything that is very specific, if there's like a small item that you need help finding or... Anything like that. I've got guides that I'm working on, guides that I want to do. I just beat the game today, so all of this is being put together on the fly. But um, but yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please comment, follow, share the video, whatever you want to do. I'd appreciate it very much. But uh, alright, until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!